to come tonight. I haven't heard much of anything other than, you know, I spoke to my mom and, you know, most of my family seems to be okay. But, you know, I have, it's such a big event. There's so many people there. And it's just, it's horrible, man. It's disgusting, man. I, you know, I just, I, I'm very upset. Man. You feel we're not safe anymore? You know, you try to put everything in God's hand and whatever happens here is, you know, is out of our control and there's a bigger picture. And a, but it, it, it's still obviously very upsetting. So I don't even know. What, what is the response to violence? It's usually more violence. You know, it's usually people take action and the, the actual public or people around it would actually expect that following the, even 9-11. It was like that. So you know, I um, I, I don't know what when you, when you see kids involved with it, I can't write it off. It's actually running on the treadmill, and uh, and uh, there was a TV in front of me, and it came on, and and I thought, why, why is that happening in today's day and age? Why is that happening? And 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 I, I was confused, and um, you know, it's it's a horrible thing. My heart goes out to the families and the victims. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't know who caused it, or just like everybody else, kind of in the dark. I'm waiting to get to the bottom of it. But if it was terrorism, you know, people need to know that they're not going to stop us. We're all going to band together, and you know, we're not going to be afraid. You know, so for me, I was thinking about tonight. I thought the best thing to do is to continue on with my life, to go out, to not hide inside. You know, proceed with caution, but live your life.